total and annual returns. Compute the total and annual return on the following. Five years investment for 100 shares of XYZ stock, $60 per share. So if you do the math and multiply $60 times 100 shares, that will be $6,000. And the return after five years is $9,400. There is two things in this problem, which is the total and the annual return. To find the total return after five years, we subtract the new value, which is 9400 minus the starting principal, which is $6,000. When you divide that by $6,000, we get a decimal. So we need to multiply that by 100% to change it to percent. The annual return it's called APY, Annual Percentage Yield. We follow this formula, which is A as the new value, divided by the principal, which is 6,000, the starting amount, all to the power 1 over 5, because Y is the number of years, which is 5 in this case, 5 years, and then we need to subtract 1. I will show you this in uh, slides then after that i'll type it using a graphing calculator then we'll go to the annual return and use a graphing calculator also towards the end i'll show you how to derive the formula or where this formula came from how come it's apy is equal to this a over p to the power one over y all subtract one after that. Let's get started. The total and annual return. Compute the total and annual return on the following. The five years, 100 shares for $60. And we're going to sell it for 9,400 after 5 years. The total return is new value minus starting principal over starting principal and we need to change that to percent so we multiply it by 100%. So we have 9,400 that's a new value minus the principal 6,000 Divide by 6,000 and we get 0.567. And when you multiply by 100% or change it to percent, it's 56.7%. That's the total return. So you are earning or making 56.7% return on your investment. To compute the total return, we could use a graphing calculator and we usually use parentheses to be on the safe side and we start with the following open parentheses and we have 9400 minus 6000 close parentheses divide by 6000 the principal and we hit enter and it shows 0 0.56 repeating but we need to read this as a percent so we could multiply it by 100 percent or move the decimal two places and we read it as 56.7 percent the annual return is the following the annual percentage yield which is called apy that would give the same overall growth in five years the difference is we are looking for the annual, not the total. That's the main part right here. APY is the constant annual percentage yield that would give the same result in Y years, in five years in our example. And the formula for computing it is the following. APY equals a over P, where A is 
the return, which is uh, 9400, over the principal, the starting amount, which is 6000, uh, to the power 1 over y, and y is the 5 years, then we subtract 1. Just doing the math and applying it, we get the following. 9400 divided by uh, 6000 minus 1 is approximate, that's not exact, that's approximate to 0 0.094, which is about 90 or 9.4 percent. For the annual return, we could just type it on a calculator and I'll show you how. As you could see, we start with parentheses 9400 minus uh, divide by. 6,000, close parenthesis, raise it to the power, 1 over 5, make sure you put it inside parenthesis as an exponent, and minus 1 at the end, and hit enter. And that is the annual percentage rate, which is about 9.4%. To derive the formula, we could do the following. We know the famous formula for the interest is A equals P for the principal multiplied by 1 plus the annual interest rate all to the power how many years? Of course, if we're not compounding it monthly or weekly, so we're doing it yearly. We're solving for APY. To do that, I'm going to divide both sides by P to cancel P from here. And after that, to cancel the Y, I'm going to raise both sides to the reciprocal, which is 1 over Y. And now it becomes A over P to the power 1 over Y equals 1 plus APY. We don't need the parentheses right here. I just skipped them to show you that we got rid of the y. So we didn't have the parentheses as you could see. Now we're going to subtract one from both sides. And when we, once we do that, we get the following. Let's rearrange it and start with APY on the left. And that's the formula. Now we can test it. So instead of writing step by step, I have the following. We have P as $6,000 and the return was, or the new balance after five years was $9,400 for 9.4%. So we have the starting amount. We have the percentage, the yearly percentage that we found, which is approximate. And we have the number of years, which is 5. Doing the math, I could uh, just write this as decimal. 9.4% is 0 0.094. Then I could combine them together as 1.094, which is less in typing on the calculator. And I get the following. But notice this answer is not exactly 9400. It has $2 something extra. But it is approximate to our answer. If you want it exact, we'll have to type the actual percentage. The percentage was 9.39445794 on the calculator. And if you do that, as you could see, we get more accurate answer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.